Hey everybody, welcome back to New Retro Wave TV. I'm your host, Electrish, and my special guest today is the New Arcades. And they'll be playing a special live version of their newest track, Moods. Let's kick things off with a music video. But first, let's hear from the New Arcades now. Hi, I'm Dean. And I'm Adam. And we are New Arcades. And you're watching New Retro Wave TV. Now I'm gonna turn on my TV and talk to the new arcades. Hey guys, welcome to the show. So tell me, how did the two of you meet and form the new arcades? Oh gosh, um, so many, many moons ago, myself and Dean were actually working in the same job. Uh, we were looking after dogs and puppies. Cats and kittens as well. Yeah, <laughs> various animals. Yeah, and I think I think we were working in a sim like different parts of the centre, and from what I remember, I went past you, and went hello, hello, and then I responded with, "Is it me you're looking for?" Is it me you're looking for? Obviously, yeah. Tune full of chord. This is a true story, by the way. It sounds it sounds crazy. Too but, good to yeah. be true, almost. Yeah, yeah. but that's. That's what happened. And uh, yeah, we just started chatting. Um, 
I think I was uh, at the end of uh, a music project that I was working on and yeah. we kind of started chatting and then decided to kind of do something uh, with the two of us. Yeah, so um, pursue that. I don't know. We, we, I think we were curious about 80s stuff. We'd seen the movie Drive. Um, and it's like, oh, should we try something new? Because we'd worked a little bit in other projects, but it was like, let's try something new and go after this. And then I remember we were sat downstairs and um, we go, oh, what, what name should we have? What name should we have? And it was like, oh, what's reminiscent of the 80s? Um, arcades, yeah. So. Yeah, oh, yeah the old, obviously the arcades. <laughs> and, then, and then what would be like fresh, like a new take on it? Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. New arcades. So, yeah. So it was basically the retro with the new. So new arcades, it came from there. Well, you know it's fate when someone finishes the song lyrics that you're saying. And that's probably why the two of you sound so amazing together. Your music is like traveling into a universe of an 80s soundtrack. So what inspires your authentically heartfelt sound? Well, firstly, thank you very much for the compliment. That's a really lovely thing to hear. I'm sure you feel the same thing. Definitely, yeah, definitely. Uh, I think, well, first and foremost, I think when we started New Arcades, we wanted it to kind of have that nostalgic 80s cinema type vibe. So I would say that first and foremost, John Hughes films, very rem reminiscent of what kind of um, feel and aesthetic we were after. Um, that's the kind of lighter side of the pop sound we've got, I think. Um, then you look at stuff like Blade Runner, which has the more uh, cinematic, kind of darker feel to some of our stuff, mm. uh, which is I kind of think is still quite prevalent in our even our newer stuff. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's that, and also the bands that we listened to when we were growing up. You know, listening to indie rock um, and other acts like Jimmy Eat World, Taking Back Sunday. Lyrically, we kind of definitely uh, lean on that from an inspiration point of view, I think. Um, you know, really unique kind of heartfelt lyrics, which kind of combine with the retro sounds, I think kind of gives that um, unique spin on this genre, I'd say. But, you know, I guess that's up to the listener, really. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> I love John Hughes movies. My favorite is The Breakfast Club. And I love, love, love the scene where they get on top of the tables and start dancing together. So I have to tell you guys, a lot of your music personally inspires my dreams. I wanna know what your dreams were when you both were younger and what are your dreams now? Firstly, we are really um, touched that it does inspire your dreams. That's wonderful to hear. Um, secondly, if you haven't, this for everybody watching if you haven't listened to in deepest of dreams our latest album yet feel free to give give it a listen but um as for the question then over to you uh well yeah i guess as far as dreams and aspirations go so the context of this i'm guessing it's the hopes and dreams as opposed to actual dreams um i'm sure adam will touch on uh, i'm gonna go on the other route but yeah, like, <laughs> the actual dreams yeah, yeah. Thing, so yeah. i guess i don't know when uh i guess being a musician when you're young you have these uh dreams of uh, kind of emulating your kind of heroes um to a certain extent and uh following in their footsteps i guess so that's always been kind of the goal since an early age for me anyway and uh you know you kind of still have that kind of longing and yearning to kind of reach as many people as you can with your music um but as far as actual dreams um oh yeah mine are too oh, well mine are too crazy to even kind of like comprehend or kind of describe to be honest but you you got any kind of thoughts well, on the actual dreams, actual dreams yeah. so actual dreams um when i was younger i'm just gonna go straight to the straight <laughs> to the to the point um when i was younger my dreams were like 
trying to run and fly. I always used to try and run and take off. And I remember you'd get like so far in the air. <laughs> Did you make it? I never ever made it. But one time, <laughs> one time, I promise I don't take anything. <laughs> I got eaten by a dragon. And when people say you die in your dreams, you die in real life, I, I'm still here. And I genuinely got eaten by a dragon. And yeah, so my dreams these days, probably more just nightmares. It's the only time I remember them. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> Well, to quote a very wise man by the name of Willy Wonka, we are the music makers and we are the dreamers of dreams. So since the two of you have been making music together for such a long time, I'd love to know what's the most rewarding part about having the history that you do? Well, since we are very best friends. We are best friends. My yes. best friend here. My best friend. <laughs> <laughs> it's too kind. It's the first time he's ever said that to me. Oh god, yeah. No, I'm joking. Highly um, emotional situation. Oh yeah. Um I guess the the trust that we've developed as a, a partnership in our writing process and um production. Um and just and just coming together to look at songs and even if one of us is not happy with a certain element or a certain part, we can talk to each other openly. Um I mean we've had several of those situations mm -hmm. before. Yeah, I think Sometimes, say if I'm starting to write a song or have an idea, uh, come to a dead end or something, then we kind of bring it together. I think we then resolve it with your kind of thoughts on how we can kind of make it better or something. So I think, um, yeah, and I'll, I'll be like, Dean, could you could you change this yeah. vocal? Yeah, and I'd, well, sometimes you'll be like, yeah, yeah, cool, I, and I'll time. parry that. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes, sometimes you'll any be input like, I will parry, parry, because parry. I'm so I'm, I'm very sensitive. <laughs> so any any critique, any critique at all, uh, I don't do well with. So he, I will parry. It. He often will parry it. So then I have to get creative, and then I'll go into the, the session, get that melodyne, and, and I'll just, I'll parry. He'll that. parry it, and I will melodyne it, and yeah. then and then we compromise with a bit of auto tune, and then. He'll yeah. either like it or dislike it, and if it works, he'll then do it again for me. Yeah, so I'll kind of go away after kind of vetoing that. We come back and it's better. <laughs> I'll be like, oh, okay, that's good actually. Yeah, teamwork makes the dream work. That's exactly right. Yeah, <laughs> so that's that's it. <laughs> but yeah, in in all seriousness, um, we've been writing together for a long time. I feel like we understand each other a lot more these days, and we can come to each other and and offer real suggestions and it won't hit a sore spot or anything like that and um yeah i think it's got the best out of the songs and we both love the music we make and to end up with a finished product that is something we're proud of is ultimately what we're there yeah. to do that's right like you said teamwork makes the dream work and you guys are such a great team i love the track moods that came out recently and i'd love to hear more about your writing process for that track um Moods, yeah, this is one of our latest tracks. Um, actually, I know you can kind of go on the most recent track can often be your favorite song. For me, <laughs> actually, uh, <laughs> always calling him out. I know, I know. So, every new song is my favorite song, apparently. It is. Uh, but Moods is actually, Moods is one of my favorite tracks uh, we've written. Um, I think lyrically, it definitely represents what I've been feeling. Um, you know, for a long time, but also um, musically, where we go with it, I think um, I love the fact that we've got the intro bass line, which is very different to what we normally do, and the two part chorus, which kind of brings it up a notch. Um, yeah, having a fun with that vocal in there. Yeah, the yeah, we um, so I basically recorded a a, a rough mix, you know, a demo at the start of the year, and uh, I was really confident in it. And I was thinking, you know, this is this is, you know, I, I'm really liking this. Um, quite a basic kind of drum beat in that. And then, yeah. you know, I took it to Adam and we um, worked on it in the studio. It's pretty tough, actually. I think it's probably my toughest vocal. Yeah, uh, because because recording. I think I've done. I think because at first you were singing a lot of it in falsetto. I was like, let's bring it down a key. And then we got you to sing it in your chest. Yeah. And it's like way, obviously high for a chest vocal at that point. Yeah. So, and we dropped it down 
a semitone <laughs> to help with that. Yeah, but it was just that one. That one bit was yeah. like, yeah, yeah. Uh, and the fact that there's a couple of guitar solos with the '80s synths, the the, the kind of real um, funky bass lines mm. and the verses, um, but. Um, the real gem for me was coming back into the studio once Adam had taken the initial recording um, and worked on it. Then I came back a couple of days later and he'd done some real magic with the mix, oh, the drums and everything. And I know, but it was it was great because obviously the the initial recording was a very kind of simple kick drum snare um, uh, rhythm. And, yeah, and slap, yeah. slap some guitars on. And yeah, slap some guitars on and stuff, your usual um, and stuff. And uh, it's and really getting goosebumps. <laughs> yeah, no, well, well, you know, we kind of took it out to the car as well to listen to it, didn't we? So, which was, yeah, was wonderful. Yeah, and there was literally no changes to that mix from recording to to the first mix of that. Yeah, I yeah. don't think we changed much to it. So that's what's special about that. I think it's one of my favorite tracks we've done i would say top three adam says top five of his favorite tracks of what we've done no, I, 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 think it, say, I think it would be third for me yeah i would I actually it. go I higher love it. i love for, it for wow. me yeah, i'll go higher <laughs> but so that's what makes this song special for me i know it's quite recent but um you know i've said this before like oh this is a really great song but this song i think objectively i'd say can i say that i yeah. think subjectively because i'm saying it. no uh, i think i think it's more than fair enough Thank you to the new arcades for being on my TV and speaking with me about their music. And now let's set the mood. Here is a special live studio performance by the new arcades.
Thanks for watching another episode of New Retrowave TV with me, Electrish. Stay tuned because next time we'll have more great artists on the show. If you like the music you heard on New Retrowave TV, visit NewRetroWave.com and Bandcamp to support the artists and more. See you next time.